Ah, Atlas Avenue. A long stretch of road that encompasses everything the city of Kenneth Heights has to offer. Bright lights, flashy signs, nudie bars, showrooms, office buildings, coffee shops, blocked traffic, street mimes, ritzy restaurants, dark alleys, beat cops, suits, crooks, thieves, and the homeless. My office was located two stories up, overlooking much of the chaos. While the street may be home to crazy characters, so was my life. Hello, Mr. J. How the hell you doing today? Good, Edith. One such person was Edith Dietrich, my plucky secretary. She had a dirty mouth, but I wouldn't trade her for nothing. And she isn't the craziest person I had to deal with. Paul Wint, Arthur Phelps, Joey Evernuckle, and the list goes on. I'm a PI, and I often enlist the help of a vast array of crazy personalities. Nearly every year I have a new case. New people to meet, new clues to discover, and new problems to solve. But I do it the old-fashioned way. No technology. Nothing post-1950. It's just how I do things. Sadly, I need help to plug this show, so... Here you go, Mr. J. It's all typed up. This is the plug? Yep. <clears throat> so if you want to hear my unique, interesting, and funny cases, you can go to 7 or search for Atlas Avenue Beat wherever you listen to podcasts. Every season is a new case, and boy, they can get crazy. How's that? Good, Edith. Thank you. Not sure what a podcast is, but if you're listening to me right now, odds are you do. So make sure to listen, subscribe, and rate and review. And don't forget to follow Seven Land Productions on all those big social media platforms that are so popular nowadays. guys, Amber here with my co-host Robert Lamb, and this is Will There Be Cake? And today, we're celebrating... Cake. Cake! There will be cake today. There will be cake today. We're telling you right, no spoilers. Spoilers. (laughs) I mean, you'd figure it out as soon as we tell you what day it is. And today is um, a cake that I really hated as a child because I thought it was a trick to get me to eat vegetables, but I actually really like it now. And it's... National Carrot Cake Day. I don't remember the last time I had it, but it was okay. Yeah. I, I think I it was like at some party or something. Somebody had some. It is I weird like, try it. eating little carrots. Yeah. It's not like my cake. favorite cake, but it's not horrible. It's not horrible. It's fine. But I just, it's like Jerry Seinfeld said, you don't make carrots into a cake. I agree with that. <sighs> Jerry sentiment. Seinfeld is not right on everything, Robert. He's I right on this one for sure. Him. He's right on this one for sure. I mean, you know how many times he was wrong? How many times? A lot of times. You know? I watched the episode I watched last night was the one where <laughs> Elaine tells him that she faked an orgasm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the mango, I think. Oh, yeah. That is the mango one. Because yeah. uh, George has mango. It yep. moved. <laughs> I think it moved. <laughs> I'm back, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, you faked it? Right, give me a shot. Give me a shot. No. <laughs> one more. I know I can do it. Just, just, just 15 minutes. 15 and, minutes. And then they go back there like... I think they're like in the bed and he's just sitting there like, oh, George got in my head. <laughs> All that talk about impotence. Mango. Yeah. Oh, George. That anyway, back to carrot cake. Yep. Um, Carrot. What about carrot cakes? So they say that the carrot cake. Who's they? Probably came to be historians is they, mm-hmm. obviously. Um, they believe that it originated in the Middle Ages when they used sugar um, or they used carrots as like a sweetener because sugar and other sweeteners were like really scarce. Oh. So the earliest known recipe for carrot cake is in a French cookbook that was published in 1827. Um, but yeah, it was like in the 1940s, the British government encouraged citizens to use carrots as a replacement for sugar and other sweeteners, which were in short, short supply during the war. And the government actually suggested using carrots in cakes and puddings. Nice. Carrot pudding. Gross. Yeah, that's kind of weird. It is weird. But it wasn't until the 60s, 1960s, when 
uh, America really got in on that carrot cake. They got in <laughs> on that carrot cake. It's, boat. Like, it's like they bought stocks in it. They got yeah, in. They, they got, got in when it was going good. Yeah. <laughs> but now, honestly, I think it's time to get out. It's time like, to get out. Get out. Better sell I think carrot, carrot cake has gone far <laughs> enough. It's not going anywhere new. People are realizing soon. they really don't like carrot cake that much, and they'd yeah. rather use sugar. Yeah, yeah. Than I, carrots. Reddit's brought it up. They said, "Get out now." Yep. <laughs> John, John. There's a whole Reddit page about it. <laughs> Oh, Reddit. Ah, uh, topical. Uh, wow, look at us. Yeah. Uh, so what can we do to celebrate? I mean, eat, eat a carrot cake. Car- would you ever make a carrot cake? No. Yeah, I don't. I, no. That seems too hard. Yeah, <laughs> I don't seems have really time hard. to chop up all those carrots. I'm pretty sure, like carrot cake nowadays, like they use sweeteners with the carrots, so it's mm-hmm. not just it's just extra sweet. I've had some good ones though, because I think it has like nuts and shit in it, right? Or maybe it it's has, just the crunchy. It might carrots. just be the carrots. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. I, I, yeah. I mean, we'll have to eat some today. Yeah. So we'll find out. <laughs> but, we'll find out. <laughs> but think, it's like probably one of the healthier cakes, right? As. Carrots, healthy as carrot, you can get with a cake, carrot, I would assume. Carrots so, yeah. are healthy. They reduce cancer. What do you slow think? Slow down the aging process, cleanse toxins from your body, and improve the condition of your teeth and gums. Yeah, but in a cake, how yeah, many how many carrots are you eating in like a piece of a cake? I think that's why I like because I do remember carrot cake has the cream cheese frosting, and I'm a big fan of cream cheese frosting. What do you think is healthier, carrot cake or like a vegan cake? Probably a vegan cake. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I think it depends. On a lot of things. Ooh, did you know eating carrots can improve your vision? Yeah, I knew that. Did you really know that? Yeah, but uh, I used to just rub the carrots right on my eyes. That's probably better. And I couldn't see for a long time. And you don't have to eat them. <laughs> yeah. and my eyes were always stinging. And then finally I said, you know what? Maybe they meant that I had to eat the carrots. Yeah. I okay. always knew. My mom used to say that. That was her way of getting me to eat. She's like, if you want to have good eyesight and you don't want to have glasses like me, you better eat your carrots. My uncle used to tell me it oh, makes yeah. me grow hair on my chest as like a positive carrots? thing. Carrots? Just anything. Oh. He's like, <laughs> better better eat your vegetables. It makes you grow hair on your chest. I'm like, I, I don't want hair on my chest. It was funny uncle when, I was, Mark, so when, I, was, when <laughs> I was a kid. When I was a kid, that's what uh, I used to watch Popeye, and my mm-hmm. mom would like get the spinach, and he always ate it out of a can. And I actually liked spinach from a can. Ew, it was always gooey gross. and gross, but for <laughs> some reason, I liked it, and it was like the only vegetable I liked. And my mom couldn't believe it, and it's she because, would always make that. Yeah, it's because you were a, chi- a child, and you're just like, I'm gonna do it because he's doing it, and that's how children's little brains work. Yeah, I was that's like, good. Popeye's doing it. I want to have big muscles and an anchor tattoo, and mm-hmm. I want to date Look a at you tall, now. skinny. You got none of those things. Like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Okay, you can celebrate by baking a carrot cake. Not gonna do it, but okay. You could add carrots to your garden. If I had a garden, I totally would add carrots to my garden. Sure. No, I would. No, I mean, sure, I'll do that okay, okay. if I had a garden. They take like 12 weeks before they grow big enough to for a cake, though. So. I want to try a garden, but I also, like, I don't have the time. You, yeah. I guess it's not that much. I mean, I think setting it up is something, but keeping track of everything, like going out there and... Yeah, it's like a daily thing. Watering it. And I don't have a green thumb. Maybe when you retire. Yeah. Because you make so much money off of these podcasts. Yeah. You're going to oh, retire and have a Within a, a couple of days, I'm going to retire. <laughs> I can live off of $200. Uh, so, yeah. I say you just buy a carrot cake, have it for dinner. If you are if you got some children, you can watch Wallace and Grandma, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. Okay. I think I'm just going to eat some carrot cake because that's the way we'll <laughs> celebrate it. And it answers the question, will there be cake? That's true. Pretty easy. These are my favorite holidays. Will All there right. be cake? Obviously, because it's a cake holiday. Yeah. So, let's run to Publix and go get a carrot cake. Okay. On my way. Cool. Okay. All right, guys. Let's do it. All right, we're we're gonna take off and go get a cake. Okay. Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Seven Lamb Production.